Well, praises, glory, and honors due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and teachers of a great millstone, and the like minded men who are part of great millstone, who may not be part of great millstone, so like may not be part of great millstone, but are pushing the same 144%, 100% truth doctrine. Yeah? I'm not part of great millstone, but I follow great millstone doctrine to. Because it's the truth, and they're the leaders of um, Yasharala today. Yeah? Salutations on to the elect men, women, and children of the house of David. You may be listening and getting a few scriptures of this piece of information that I've found today. Um, just going to push it out. You know, it's just a few scriptures on it. Found it interesting. The pride of this man, not well, this man in particular, but these men as well, you know. I'll go to the headlines. SpaceX founder Elon Musk reiterates aim to land people on Mars within five to ten years so we can establish a human colony before Earth gets too hot for life. Yeah? These people, man. This, um, you know, I'm just going to start with Obadiah. I've got a few scriptures lined up. In fact, Salakia, like, yeah, I will start with James. James 4. I think it's more appropriate since it says. Um, on Mars within five to ten years. So go to the book of James. Do, 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 do. James chapter four. Straight to the point, thirteen fourteen. James chapter 4, verse 13. Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue their year and buy and sell and get gain. And what's he saying here? He's saying within five years to ten years so we can establish a human colony. You know, that's the pride of these people, man. The end with the fact, I'm going to get that scripture as well, still. Yeah. Um... Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not what ye shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapour that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. Don't even need breaking down. That's simple. You know, at the end of the day, just deal with today, as Yahweh Shai says. I think it is in... Matthew, Matthew 6 and 34. So like if it's not, I'm going to get that. Yeah. So take no thought. For, so, um, Matthew 6 and 34. The letters, uh, the verses in red. Yeah. So let me hear how was I? Who people ignorantly call Jesus. His name is not Jesus. Um, is how was I? He delivers Yah. Meaning he Delivers meaning shy, yeah, yeah. How was shy? He delivers. He saves, yeah. Not Jesus, because the letter J wasn't used until fifteen twenty four, or developed until fifteen twenty four. Yeah. Um, Matthew six and thirty four. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Obviously, this is towards Specifically for us, for us Israelites, yeah. But this is the pride of these people. They just think that they're gonna, you know, establish. Look at what they've done to the stewardship of this earth. Yeah, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, and what have they done? Um, Revelation eleven and eighteen. They've destroyed it. Yeah. So how they're gonna how how they really in 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 reality is the Most High gonna allow them to go past the bounds? And I will get that scripture um, that is set. Yeah, because they're going to be destroyed because they've destroyed this place. They can't even look after their own water. The water, you know what I mean? They can't look after anything. So they, and now they want to go to different lands in five to ten years. Madness, man. Madness. And quickly, let's get one more scripture. Proverbs. Proverbs. It matches to um, James. So. Oh, Prayer. Okay. Here we are. 
Boast not thyself of tomorrow, of tomorrow, for thou know, thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Yeah, simple as that. You know, the scriptures are the answers for everything. Yeah, going to this word boast. There we are. Strong's H, 1984. Halal. Halal. Yeah. Right. Um, outline of biblical usage to shine, not in this context, to shine, to flash forth light, to praise, to boast, to be boastful. And that's what they're doing, to be boastful. Yeah. To praise, to boast, to make a boast. And that's what he's doing there in this um, article. Go down, further down. Article was out yesterday, 29th, yeah. Elon Musk says the first crewed flight to the Red Planet could happen in 2026. This isn't a hard deadline as a number of new technologies are needed first. But to think that you're even going to be alive tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what Shabashi Masha has got in store for you. And there's these, these, this man here in particular, but these people, they're just prideful, man. Yeah. Because they think that, here we are, let's get this scripture, it's come to mind. Oh, it's appropriate time to bring it out. Um, Psalm uh, 49. First. Why does it keep on doing that? I have to go PSA 49. PSA 49. 49. 49. Straight to the point. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and that's what they think that they're going to keep on going on and going on and nothing's going to stop them yeah they're dwelling places to all generations they call their lands after their own name so if the most i did allow them to go to mars they'll probably change that name as well or well, they call it mars we don't know what planet it's called you know what i mean but they'll probably say oh yeah this is my plot of land they just change everything do you know what I mean? I think Sean Mars is a Greek god or something like that. Yeah? But anyway, that's off the point. So yeah, I'm just going to go back to this article. Yeah, so like I said, I was just bring, found it interesting, so I thought I'd bring out a few scriptures on it. Um, yeah. In a new interview, continue with the article, in a new interview for a podcast, he said it will happen within a decade at most. See? Pride. Yeah? Any delay would be caused by efforts required to make Starship ready to travel. Elon Musk, founder of SpaceX, has reiterated his long-standing goal of landing humans on the surface of Mars within the next five to ten years. The world's richest man is not really. We've got, you know, we've got the the, the true one percent, the ones you don't see, the Oppenheimers, the, the Rothschilds, the Gettys. Those trillions, you know what I mean? The apostles and elders have gone through that. Those people have got trillions, man. <laughs> You don't even hear about them. The world's richest man also owns Tesla Motors and the Boring Company and has a mission to make humanity a multi-planetary species through a colony on Mars. Wow. He wants to achieve his goal as quickly as possible to ensure Mars is sustainable before Earth. Wow, these people are just absolutely proud. Yes, yeah, so like I said, I can't. He's just proud, man. Articles from the Daily Mail on 29th of December 2021. Yeah, it's there. It's going to get a few more scriptures. Go to Obadiah. Start straight to the point. Start with three. The pride of thy heart, of thine heart, have deceived thee. Yeah. See, he says, oh, we're going to go to Mars in 10 years, X, Y, Z. We're going to do this, that, and the other. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen because Yahweh Hashim is going to put a stop to him. And you can see the prophecies popping off as we speak. As, you know, as, as the, each day goes by, the prophecies are there. It's happening. You know what I mean? The families, the pestilence, the rumours of wars, the beginning of sorrows. You know, Matthew 24, 6, 7, and 8, yeah? Um, back to Obadiah. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? 
And if you start at one, the vision of sorry, Salakia at one, the vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Concerning Edom. So, yeah, so we know who it's addressed to concerning Edom. I'll go back down to three again. Esau is Edom. Yeah? Um, Genesis 36. And Esau is a so called white man, Edomites. Yeah? They've changed the names as we just, you know, just gone into. Change the names of everything. Because the vagabonds and the thieves. The stolen of everything and they're just basically fugitives on the run. But anyway, um, Obadiah 1 and 3. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, you know, outside I love the, the skyscrapers, you know, them tall buildings, you know, to look down on people. <laughs> that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? That should say lab, that word, heart. Yep. An understanding of this word here. Strong's H thirty eight twenty. Lave. Love, yeah. The apostles have said the inner man mind will. So it says in his mind. Saying in his mind, in his heart, his mind, who shall bring me down to the ground? And that's the pride of the Esau. They think they're never going to get taken down. Right? Though, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. And though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord, Yahweh. Yeah? So, as the apostles have gone into before, elders and teachers, they've all gone into it before, that around the time of um, Elder High Priest Abba Bivins, yeah? Abba Bivins, Bivins um, that's when, 60, late 60s, that's when um, the Esau was beginning, you know, he was in his, his, in his decline, began to circle the drain. And as we know, Yahweh Shai, you know, brings his judgment little by little. He can do it as when he wants, but you know, in most instances it's little by little. Yeah. So as we read in the scriptures previously. Um yeah, so basically Esau it's not gonna happen, mate. You ain't going to know Mars. You're not Yahweh Shai. You're not the most high, you know, is equal twenty eight, you know, thinking themselves that they are the most high. Yeah, and put themselves in the seat of the Most High. Yeah, Second Thessalonians two and three. Yeah, because this is what's going to happen. The fact is, the Most High set the bounds. So I'll get that because I'm not going to labour the point. We've got the point that they think they're going to go to Mars, and it ain't going to happen. Scriptures say so, and to prove it, here we are. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. It is that simple. The Most High has got a, a day, sorry, a, a year, a month, a day, a minute, a millisecond that Esau cannot pass. Esau Edom cannot pass. And that's what we're approaching now. Yeah? And when Yahushai comes back, who is this coming from Edom with dye garments from Bosra? He's going to deal with them, you know? Um, Isaiah 63. Make sure I've said that correctly, because there's a scriptures, a couple of scriptures the other day, didn't say correctly, which was Second Thessalonians, uh, sorry, sorry, Second Corinthians four and four, and I should, yeah, I said sec, First Corinthians four and four, and I meant Second Corinthians four and four, and Jeremiah forty nine. So I'm correcting myself on that. Yeah, I'm just gonna search this again. So we got that. We got the um, the fact that he's got most high set his bounds. How about most high set his bounds that he cannot pass, and basically they're gonna get dealt with. Uh, who is um, by Yahushai? Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, travelling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save, and that's what Yahushai, you know. He's going to come and deal with them. He's going to press them down as it goes down into the, further down into the um, chapter. You know, um, he's going to tread them down like a wine press. You know, um, metaphorically. You know, you know, and 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 knowledge analogy. Yeah, he's not physically going to get um, his blood on him. You know, so you know. So we've got the point there. I'm not going to labour it anymore. We've got 
Elon Musk saying he's going to reach Mars and attempt to make a colony within five to ten years, but it ain't going to happen because Yabashim Yarashai is going to put a stop to him and he set the bounds that he cannot pass, Job 14 and 5. And with that, Lord Will, Adam Ratazar, it is edifying. Shalom.